Okay, for problems 26 and 27, solve the double inequality. And I'm just, I'm going to rewrite this because I need it to be just a little bigger. Now this one is what I like to call an in-betweening. All right, you've got your, make that a little bigger. You've got your inequalities here. And then you've got three sections to your inequality. You've got the left end, you got the middle, and you've got the right end. The inequalities separate it all. Now, you want to know what A is. Um, you want to know between two, which two numbers A would be. Right now, you know that, oops, forgot my one over here, so 13. Um, okay, <laughs> having a little trouble here. Hang on a second. 13. Okay, right now I know that the 2a plus 5 falls between a 5 and a 13. I want to know what a falls between. So I am going to start by subtracting the 5 from the middle to cancel it out so that in the middle I just have the 2a, but what you do in the middle, you also have to do to both ends. And of course, 5 minus 5 is 0. There's my less than sign. 2a is in the middle. There's my less than or equal to. And 13 minus 5 is 8. So keep in mind, you still have a left end and a right end and a middle and they are separated by the less than and the less than or equal to sign. And now I want to get rid of that 2. So I think I'll use a different color this time. I'm going to divide by 2 because 2 over 2 would leave me with just a. But if I divide the middle by 2, I have to divide each end by 2. And 0 divided by 2 is still 0. And here you just have the a, and here eight divided by two is four. All right, and I said solve it. Okay, I have solved it. Technically, this is my answer when I'm done. But then I wanted you to express your final answer in interval notation. And I can see that it, it a is in between zero and the four. Um, interval notation does not utilize any variables. You just put down the starting number and a comma and the ending number. So it starts at zero and it ends at four. Now the zero is next to, is next to this symbol here. <sighs> Sorry, there we go. I'll use a different color. Uh, is next to this symbol here, which does not have a um, equal to on it. So that means I'm going to need a parenthesis on this end. And then when you go over to the other inequality, which is this one, which is next to the four, it has an equal to. And an equal to would give me a bracket. So just to put it all in black, I would have parenthesis, zero comma four, and a bracket. And that is the interval notation. So here in the yellow, that's my final answer for interval notation. Okay, and that's 26 and oh, I got, I got time. I, do I have time? Nah, I'll do 27 as a different video.